I think the HIV epidemic was clearly a seminal moment in the way in which the pharmaceutical industry uh, sees itself and was seen. And there was clearly a time when the industry was slow to react to what was changing around it. But I think that since 2000, what we've seen is an industry really rapidly uh, adopt a different way of working, a much more engaged approach. It completely challenged and changed the way global regulators thought about healthcare provision. It really changed the way in which patients were given a voice at the table and many other uh, disease conditions have benefited actually from the, uh, the work, if you will, the breakthrough work that the HIV patients did. And you see now in areas such as cancer, rare diseases, a patient voice much more loud and much more listened to, I think at least partly because of what happened in HIV. So I think for the industry, for regulators, for governments, for rich countries who have felt they've had to support the South, all of those relationships have been changed by this disease. I think it's, it's tremendous to have an aspiration to try and see a world without AIDS. I think we should pause for a second and remind ourselves that this is an infectious disease, a virus, and they are notoriously difficult to eliminate. They are, by definition, always evolving and always capable of trying to keep one step ahead of human efforts to limit them. But we shouldn't be stopped in trying despite that fact. The one thing I've learned about infectious disease is if you give it a get-out doorway, it will take it. And so we need to be uniform and, and comprehensive in how we try and close the net around this virus and we don't allow it an easy route out because we've ignored a piece of the fence. And that's really what uh, I think this commission can help to do. Uh, over the next six months, the commission, I think, has a really key thing to try and achieve, which is to complement high-level strategy with some detailed recommendations and challenges. Now, I don't think it needs to solve everything. It, it's impossible to solve everything in a short commission like this. But it's a great moment to ask questions. And I think what we need to be disciplined to do is that we're asking sufficiently precise questions so that the world, various stakeholders, whether that be companies, whether that be governments, whether that be NGOs, all have an accountability to answer. And they all need to respond um, so that we can then be confident that we're going to make some progress.